I'd like to talk about spinodal decomposition. This is a situation in, in which at higher temperatures, and this diagram I drew, I'm just having A constituents and B constituents. Again, there are many examples of, of this. But at high temperatures, you have a single phase and it's coherent across the entire diagram or in the entire compositional space. But at low temperature, you get something that looks like this kind of dome shape. And what's happening is that even though there is this solubility at high temperatures, as you go to low temperatures, the solubility disappears. Uh, and in fact, as you approach zero Kelvin, the laws of thermodynamics tell us that all materials at zero Kelvin have uh, perfect order, which means that uh, this type of event has to happen for all uh, multi-phase components or multi-phase alloys. So what's happening here? Uh, well, you're at some say composition, let's call it X B star. At warm temperatures, you have single phase alpha. And as you cross this phase boundary, you are now in a two-phase region. This two-phase region is defined as alpha prime plus alpha prime prime. Now, you notice we kept the same uh, Greek letter. And the reason for that is that these two have the same crystal structure. And, and we know that because up here, they have solubility across the entire compositional space. And if they have the same composition across the entire compositional space, they have to have the same uh, bonding characteristics, similar sizes, and the same crystal structure. Cooling down, what's happening is instead of having a single phase, we now have two phases, but one of those phases if we draw our horizontal line, is rich in A. So this is going to be X, B, alpha, prime. And one of them is rich in B, X, B, alpha double prime. And as we continue to cool, and for example, we're approaching zero Kelvin, what's happening is our alpha prime is getting more and more rich in A, alpha double prime is getting more and more rich in B, and right as we reach zero Kelvin, so this is going to be our hypothetical T equals zero K, right at zero Kelvin, our alpha prime is pure A, our alpha double prime is pure B. Uh, and I also should probably comment that there's this dashed line inside that dashed line inside uh, indicates a thermodynamic instability. If you get a phase diagram like this, the important thing is that you are reading from the solid lines. The dashed line is actually telling you about a feature in thermodynamic space, and we're not going to talk about that in this class. Uh, it is important, it is interesting, but not for here and now. So do remember you're looking at these solid lines to define the composition of your alpha prime and alpha double prime. 
and you are using your inverse lever rule. For example, this divided by this to determine the fraction of alpha double prime. So everything we learned about reading binary phase diagrams, nothing changes, just the diagram gets a little stranger.